Ensler of Colorado Springs and his opponent in the blue national champion Daryl Christian also of Colorado Springs. TC Dantzler out in the red singlet talk about active he beat Daryl Christian earlier with a pin one minute and 38 seconds in the first period of their matchup earlier in this trials. Well if it's anything like his, his wrestle and his matches in the mini tournament and also uh, uh, the first match here today there's going to be some flying going on here. There's going to be some heels up in the air here in this bout. These two guys like to go at it. Christian, Daryl Christian is 29 years of age. He gives a lot of credit to the Greco-Roman coaching staff for his development as a Greco-Roman wrestler. And that's something in probably in the last you know, these staffs are dedicated. You know, the amount of people that uh, put their lives into this uh, Greco-Roman sport to, you know, to keep it alive and keep it strong in this country, and we've had a great deal of improvement in, the, in, in Greco because of that. Very, very much so. Dedication, commitment. I mean, they're as committed in their respective discipline as, as, as freestyle, as collegiate, as interscholastic wrestling is across the country. As we come down to the one minute mark, we're scoreless here, so there's gonna be a coin toss. And I'm telling you, TC Dantzler can lift and throw. In fact, he wins the coin toss, and he will have the first opportunity in the parterre clinch to do just that. You kinda got the feeling in that first minute that both these athletes were waiting for this position. They didn't really, didn't really get after it like we saw in the, in the, in the first bout. Well, Daryl Christian goes in the down position. TC Dantzler on the top with the reverse body lock. He's got 30 seconds to do something with it, or Christian will pick up the point. And he comes around from behind, unable to lift in the reverse position in the first 15 seconds. He's got about 10 left, and then we'll switch. Now he's going to come up high. No, oh, there we go. Three he, points. He got it. He got the lift, and he got the throw through into the protection area, out of bounds, and picked up three points on the throw. He got that with four seconds left in the in the period, but that's he, he was patient there. You saw how he was working back and forth, and now he gets up, steps over, steps over with that left foot, gets it over. Now he gets ready to pop his hips in. Oh, he made a couple steps, then popped his hips in, and that was big. That was huge, but now it's Dale Christian's turn on the top as we got 30 more seconds in the parterre coming from the clinch, this time put into effect by Daryl Christian. You can see where he, Christian's Red maybe open. trying to work that technique that Durlocker did where he come, he'll come back out in front of the head. He can get it. Now he's going to go all the way with it here. Now he comes back in front of the head. Only four seconds left in that 30-second period. Danzler wins the period. 4-0. TC Danzler wins that period by the score of four to nothing and takes a one period to nothing lead. You look at Andy Saris in the background talking to Daryl Christian. Andy Saris, an Olympic coach in Athens. Wouldn't be surprised to see Christian maybe come out a little bit stronger in the uh, in the first minute. You know, you, you kind of see that uh, one guy gets the advantage in the parterre position in the clinch. So, well, that didn't work for that so well for me. Maybe I'll be a little more aggressive here in that first minute. Joe DeMeo and Sean Sheldon giving parting words to TC Dantzler. Dantzler representing the New York Athletic Club. Christian also a member of the New York AC. As we begin the second period, Dantzler up one period to nothing. It's really up for Christian at this stage of the game. He's, he's, he can't be uh, complacent here. He's going to try to fight any way he can to score it. And if, if, if not score, make, make Danzler work a little bit harder than what he's maybe worked to this point because if you maybe work that, work, make TC work just a little bit harder, maybe that explosiveness won't be there when he goes to, to do his great lifts. Maybe. So he's got to keep TC Danzler on the move and then maybe find an opening of his own. But how about Dantzler, you know, going all the way through the mini tournament, wins the first match, and uh, wins the first period of the second match. We haven't seen that too often. You don't see it very often no, here you in don't. this you process. Don't. You certainly don't. He had a tough match earlier against Keith Siraki. 
the Olympic team member, but Dantzler came out on top of that. And quite honestly, Jim, I, I think this style favors T.C. Dantzler as a result of that parterre lift opportunity. As yep. we come to the one-minute mark, we'll see the parterre clinch again. The coin toss. And this time, it's Daryl Christian who is going to clinch first. Good it's difficult to establish who has the advantage here if you clinch first, but... Uh, well, here, here's the deal. Here's where the rules throw some odd nuances out there. Let's say Christian can't do anything, then Dantzler would pick up a point. Last and then let's score. say Dantzler can't do anything, then Christian would pick up a point, and then Christian would win because he had the last point that was picked up, the last point that was scored. So those are nuances in these new rules. But for the most part, they've, they brought back the spectacular throws and, 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 and really changed Greco, I think, in a, in a way that uh, it is, is probably a little bit more appealing as far as the spectacular throws for the fans to see. Okay, there's the first part of it. TC Dantzler builds a nice base, fights off the possible lift by Daryl Christian, prevents Christian from scoring, so Dantzler picks up a point in that. Sounds like they've got a little contact problem. Now, Daryl Christian has to go to the down position, present a base for TC Dantzler to get the reverse Lock on. And remember, it was from this situation where Dantzler got his points last period. He can lift and he can throw. He has one lift, one throw, one scoring maneuver, and he will win a spot on the United States team. He's got that reverse body lock. Now watch the footwork. Boy, that was quick. Went from one side to the next. Right there, and now he's over on the other side. That's difficult to react to. Then he goes for the lift. Yeah, just, now he is, just horses him right here. Ooh, and that, I think that time Christensen got the point. He got the three-point score. Well, let's see how they score this. Referee had three points, and I think it's been confirmed. So Christian, Christian, Daryl Christian picked up the three points. Dantzler picked up one, so Christian wins the second period by the score of three to two. We're knotted at one period apiece. This time, Danzler gets to his feet. Looks like Christian's just about ready to go, but then all of a sudden, he goes over the show, over the waist and wrist, and he executed that technique. That was, I think that's clearly three for uh, Christensen. That was that reach around, if you will, by Daryl Christian that pre prevented T.C. Danzler from getting the points. Exactly, Christian did, you know, reached around just kind of like an old side roll here, popped his hips up in and got the spectacular three-point throw. We'll be back for more action of the 2005 World Team Trials at the Hilton Coliseum on the campus of Iowa State University. Red. We're back to the 2005 World Team Trials here at the Hilton Coliseum at Iowa State University. Let's move ahead to action in the third period. Well, we're back here for the third period here. These guys are going at it here. That, that, uh, that kind of sparked Christian here. He's got an underhook on the left-hand side. And really working in. and. T.C. Danzler blocking out fairly well. Well, thus far, we have not had any points scored in the first minute of either of the two periods. We're scoreless here at the minute 20 mark. A lot of pummeling going on, but it looks like we're going to come to a coin toss again, perhaps. No, out of bounds. Out of bounds goes T.C. Dantzler, and when you step out, your opponent picks up a point. So at the 112 mark, Daryl Christian goes up one to nothing. How about that? That changes this match totally. Well, it removes the coin toss is what it does. Christian has a one to nothing lead. Remove the clinch position. Now Christian is basically really caught fire. Well, one minute, Mark, they will come back to the parterre clinch. Okay. But it will be Daryl Christian, by virtue of having the one to nothing lead, who will take the clinch first. You get the feeling Christian's really stepped it up here. His whole pace has in increased. And well, he's got a lot on the line, Jim. If he doesn't step it up, he's out. So he's got the reverse body lock right now on T.C. Dantzler. Dantzler fought it off from the down position earlier in this match. 
and he does have a pretty good he does have a pretty good style on the bottom. Well, here comes the lift. Oh, and he goes all the way through with it there. And he gives, looks like a 2-1 exchange for Christian underneath. And I think that's what it's going to be. I didn't see the confirmation, but down, down blue. two to one is exactly what it is. And right now, Daryl Christian goes up by virtue of that lift and maneuver by the score of three to one. Dantzler will now put in the parterre clinch, and he's got the score two or more. There's a good lift. Excellent lift here. Went right for it, was able to get three. Now he, <laughs> TC jumps into the lead right now. Danzler up 4-3. Now they're battling in position here. Christian back on his feet, only 14 seconds left. Christian has to do something quick. 10 seconds left or he's out. And Danzler will make the United States team. Danzler's going to prevent that. Boy, Danzler just an explosive lifter. Come on, He's able to get that tilt. Well done. Win a hard-fought 4-3 match. All these Greco matches are hard-fought. And it's because of the rule changes with one minute on your feet and then two 30-second parterre situations in each of the periods. There's a lot of action that you now see in Greco-Roman that you may not have seen in the past. Well, you know, well over 10 points scored in a Greco match here. You haven't seen that type of action for, for decades as far as the scoring goes. And I think it's just great. But well, how about that, young man? Going all the way through the mini tournament, establishing the, you know the challenger spot and winning two matches in a row here. Excellent job. Here's Christensen in the lift position. He's able to get the uh, big points here. And this this point in time, he has a three-one lead and he established control of the match. He picked up a two-to-one off of that scenario. Right. But Danzler was able to answer. And there's a good hug between the two competitors, but the victor, T.C. Dantzler, is standing by right now to speak with our Joe Miller. I've been to a couple of world teams. It's been a couple of years. Now you're back. Uh, talk about the journey back to this moment right now. Man, the journey's been tough, you know. You go through a lot of doubt. I had to cut down to a whole nother weight class last year. You know, lost about 38 pounds to get down to 145. Got an injury. And like I said, even as a tough competitor, you go through a lot of doubt, just wondering, you know, where you're really at. But with these new rules, I know exactly where I'm at, and that's World Championship in October. 